the truth behind Prince William and Rose Hanbury's alleged affair. Rumors and tales of illicit affairs have long plagued members of the royal family. Since they're in the public eye, anything they do ends up being dissected by the media. From King Charles' love triangle with Princess Diana and Queen Camilla, the divorce of three royals in the same year, to the alleged affairs of Prince Philip, the royals have been serving the people excellent tea for years. Prince William seemed to be an exception to the rule, generally staying out of trouble even when he was a teenager. But Prince William, aka the Golden Prince, gave us a shock when tabloids spread rumors of an affair between William and Rose Hanbury. Are the rumors true? Who is Rose? When did the affair happen? Why does the affair keep coming up? Keep watching to get the answers to your questions and the truth about Prince William's affair with Rose Hanbury. Number 1. An Affair? In March 2019, a British tabloid published a story about Catherine Middleton's fallout with friend and neighbor Rose Hanbury. According to the tabloids, Catherine told William to phase out Rose and her husband Dave Chumley from their friendship circle. Still, Prince William did not act according to his wife's wishes since he enjoyed their double dates and the children also enjoyed each other's company. Both women denied this claim and considered taking legal action against the press though they did not proceed with their plans since the media outlets admitted to not providing tangible evidence to support their claims. Subsequently, in April 2019, another British tabloid published tales of Prince William's escapades with Rose Hanbury. A second tabloid also reported on the rumors saying that the affair occurred when Catherine was pregnant with their third child, Prince Louis. Since Prince Louis was born on April 23, 2018, the affair had been on a year before the press supposedly picked it up. When the tale of this affair was at its peak, a reporter, who masquerades as a royal reporter, took to Twitter saying, Yes, it's an affair. I haven't read the piece, but I know about the affair. Everyone knows about the affair, darling. A few minutes after the post was released, the reporter took it down. Before the tweet, this reporter was known as a troublemaker already, so that comment could be one of his malicious acts. Furthermore, other sources state that the reporter had no connection to the royal family, nor did he mix with the upper echelons of British society. Some even said he was just a food critic. Considering the period between the post and its removal was very short, he could have just been looking for attention or stirring the pot. So his words in this issue don't carry any weight. Number 2. Secret Playboy Before Prince Harry got married to Meghan Markle, he was a bit of a wild child, with tales of naked bums, kisses caught on camera, and other scandals. So the public looked to Prince Harry to provide them with entertaining misconduct. Harry's wild ways actually acted as a cover for William to get away with a few scandalous activities of his own undetected. Since everyone was watching Harry, pre-Catherine, Prince William had several love interests. During his short breakup with Catherine in 2007, many people believed that the young prince was not ready to marry and that Catherine was another name on his scoreboard. In 2007, a source stated he has always had a roving eye, far more so than Harry, who's meant to be the family playboy. That's something Catherine has always known and accepted. It was part of the deal, if you like. Although this may seem to be true, Prince William has always played the role of the loving father and devoted husband to perfection, so history might just be repeating itself, much like the case of Prince Philip, who was repeatedly accused of cheating on the Queen, although there was no evidence to back those claims. In one of his interviews, Prince Philip questioned how the media believed he could pull off such stunts, with at least one police officer shadowing his movements for over 40 years. Number 3. Friends or Rivals Before this messy situation, Rose, Catherine, and their spouses seemed to be on friendly terms. In 2016, a Hello article stated that the Marchioness and the Princess were good friends. Furthermore, Rose Hanbury and her husband, David Chumley, the current Marquis of Chumley, lived about three miles from the Cambridge's residence in Norfolk at Amner Hall. Consequently, their common background could be the basis of their friendship alongside other experiences like parenting. Due to proximity, the couple spent a lot of time together, allowing their children to interact with each other and attended events together. They truly seemed like they enjoyed one another's company. A source informed The Sun that since both William and David shared similar backgrounds as heirs of aristocrats, 
and their wives bonded over their love of organic food and the joys of parenting, one can imagine that there were multiple points of interest for the couples. It is noteworthy to point out that the only evidence of their supposed friendship was the exchange of cordial greetings at social gatherings. No evidence insinuated that their children were playmates or that the wives were best buds. Most of what is said about the affair is hearsay, concocted by our friendly sources. Number 4. Stay Away Reports state that Princess Catherine confronted her husband, who brushed it off as nothing. As a mother, who had many things to protect, Princess Catherine allegedly immediately swung into action and told Prince William to cut connections with the Chumleys. Other accounts say that Prince William's reluctance to do as his wife asked caused lasting damage to the friendship between the Chumleys and the Cambridges. However, Princess Catherine was having none of it, and she tried to remove the presence of the Chumleys from their daily lives. Some believe Catherine's action confirms the affair, while others say she's simply protecting herself and her family from malicious gossip. Catherine's actions may simply be an effort to silence the rumor mills, since neither she nor Rose Hanbury confirmed any friendship, not to mention a fallout. Number 5. Trouble in Paradise? After the news of the rumored affair became well known, Tales of turbulence in the royal marriage became the focus. Many royal fans had fears that the most popular royal couple could end up in a divorce. A divorce would have been devastating for many reasons, but thankfully, five years after the rumors, the Prince and Princess of Wales are still going strong. Many well-meaning individuals disregarded the rumors, since the royal couple chose to stay together, while others believed Queen Elizabeth II was involved. It's not really a secret that Queen Elizabeth didn't fancy scandals in the family and did everything in her power to squash them immediately. In a Sunday Express report in 2006, a private conversation between the late queen and her grandson, Prince William, was leaked by a palace aide. According to the report, Queen Elizabeth advised her grandson to choose his bride wisely because there was already a bad record of royal divorces, and that was enough. If the alleged conversation did occur, the queen clearly established her stance on a prospective royal divorce. The divorce of her three children and the subsequent scandals that followed must have been traumatic. Out of her four children, only Prince Edward has stayed with his first spouse. Number 6. Call My Lawyers A little fabricated tale here and there doesn't hurt anyone, or so the press would like you to think. In line with royal protocol, members of the royal family do not need to speak on every rumor or conspiracy theory they're mentioned in. However, the press hungry for Prince William to mess up, latched onto the rumored affair, and spread more vicious tales. Well, the Prince of Wales refused to take things lightly and contacted his lawyers. They threatened to take legal action against any publication or media house that engaged or encouraged the rumors. Reports from the Daily Beast state a British publication was served a warning by Harbottle and Lewis, a law chamber working with the royals. The warning comes in addition to being false and highly damaging. The publication of false speculation in respect of our client's private life also constitutes a breach of his privacy, according to Article 8 of the European Convention to Human Rights. That warning certainly stopped other media houses from publishing any more far-fetched tales. It is interesting to note that Prince William's warning was a break from the norm. The British royals follow an unspoken rule of never complain and never explain for specifically this kind of scenario. Ideally, they would not take specific legal action against the rumor mongers and just ignore the rumors. But the younger royals don't let things slide in the same way as their elders. Number 7. What is Princess Catherine's stance? Oh, what would we do without the help of these sources? An unnamed friend of Catherine firmly claims that she does not believe the rumors, which is all well and good since her husband supposedly just laughed it off. If this is true, then the tales that were circulating about Catherine's desire to avoid the Chumleys could be misinterpreted. It's only logical for her to try to stop the rumor mill and not encourage any meeting between the two couples. The press can be vicious and scrutinize every action or unspoken word for evidence of a scandal. The anonymous friend told Hollywood Life that the Princess of Wales is extraordinarily strong and good at rising above these kinds of things. But 
is upset about the rumors. They don't feel good, even though she doesn't believe them, the source added. She trusts William and doesn't want to give the rumors any attention. Cosmopolitan confirmed to the public that the Prince and Princess of Wales determined the effect of the alleged affair on their marriage. According to the source, the royal couple generally ignores rumors of this sort. However, this one had the potential to be damaging to another couple as well. They're worried about Rose. She's a married woman with children, and she's not used to this kind of public scrutiny. She's a friend of not only Catherine's, but also the entire family, so this is upsetting for everyone. It is still important to note that the Duchess of Cornwall did not comment on her friendship with Rose Hanbury. Number 8. Who is Rose Hanbury? Rose Sarah Hanbury is a noble-bred aristocrat born to Timothy James Hansbury and Emma Longman. Her grandmother, Lady Elizabeth Lambert, served at Queen Elizabeth's wedding to Prince Philip in 1947. In 2003, she met her husband, the Marquis of Chumley, at age 19 on a holiday in Italy. She quickly rose in popularity among other aristocrats while the two were dating. He was described as an eligible bachelor by his peers. At age 30, David Chumley inherited an estate with a net worth of £112 million. While dating the Marquis, Rose Hanbury worked as a model for Storm Models, Kate Moss's first modeling agency. She also briefly worked in Parliament. After six years of dating, the 25-year-old finally convinced the seventh Marquis of Chumley, who was only eight years younger than her father, to propose. Finally, the Marquis gave up his years of bachelorhood. Rose was engaged to Chumley for two days before a hasty race to the altar. Her marriage in 2009 to the Marquis improved her social status as she became his marchioness. Chumley's marriage was considered a scandal due to the short engagement. But we now know why. Rose's mother announced that her daughter was pregnant with twins a day after the wedding. The couple welcomed two healthy boys less than four months after their marriage. Before their birth, Rose's sister told the Daily Mail that it was the norm for twins to come out prematurely. Unfortunately, her sister's comment did not stop the gossip or scandal that ensued. After all, babies prematurely arriving at four to five months is unusual. The Chumleys are the proud parents of three adorable children, Alexander, Earl of Rock Savage, Lord Oliver Chumley, and Lady Iris. Rose Hanbury was a guest at many royal events, including William and Catherine's wedding in 2011, President Trump's state visit, Prince Philip's memorial service, and Queen Elizabeth's funeral. Her husband, David Chumley, was the Lord Great Chamberlain during Queen Elizabeth's reign. This office gave him duties that he fulfilled during the annual state opening of Parliament. As the Lord Great Chamberlain, the Marquis had access to the ruling monarch. Although at the death of the Queen, Chumley was replaced by another aristocrat, per tradition. The title of Lord Great Chamberlain is given to another aristocratic family at the death of the monarch according to tradition. Number 9. Did the rumors damage her marriage? Since there's been no record of a divorce between the Marquis and his Marchioness, all damages were controlled. Nonetheless, it must have been a difficult time for the couple since they were not ready for such a huge scandal. In retrospect, who is? As earlier mentioned, Lord Chumley's a few decades older than his wife. This huge age gap statistically makes the couple more eligible for a divorce. In the manner of the regular talebearers, a source told the son that Chumley's marriage is not the happiest since both of them share separate interests. David seems to be away most of the time, and the annual resurfacing of this rumor is not helpful to his young wife. People close to the couple are reportedly worried about Rose. After the rumor spread like wildfire, the Marchioness retreated to the countryside to wait out the scandal. However, in 2019, reports state that she attended an important event without her wedding ring, and in 2021, the Marquis he was seen without his. Hopefully, the absence of their rings has a trivial meaning, and the press does not ruin another family with rumors. Number 10. The Hanburys Before the rumors of the affair, the Hanburys were contacted regarding Rose's assumed fallout with the future Queen of England. Apart from the initial surprise that was expressed, Mr. Timothy Hanbury, her father, refused to comment. In his own words, the father of three said, Got no comment. There's no comment. Well, you don't expect her family, especially her father, to throw her under the bus, right? 
the aristocracy operates on its own terms and will not be drawn in by the short bursts of fame that scandals create, unlike a certain royal in-law who we won't mention here. Her family did not comment on the affair either, but a representative of Rose spoke up. According to the rep, there's no foundation to any of the tabloid articles that have appeared. There's nothing else to say whatsoever. Since there's been no actual tangible evidence to validate the speculations of the press, we can take the representative's word as true until proven otherwise. Number 11. More Speculations Months after Rose's retreat from society, the rumors died down, so she made an appearance with her husband at the first church service of the year in 2020. The service was held in St. Mary Magdalene Church at Sandringham. The Cornwalls had a tradition of attending the first service of the year there. Queen Elizabeth was also in attendance, but onlookers focused their attention on Rose and Princess Catherine. The air between the two was described as amicable and relaxed by spectators. The press, for whatever twisted reason, loves pitting these women against each other. In 2016, the Daily Mail insinuated that Hanbury's lifestyle made her the true queen of the turnip toffs, a name the media fabricated to describe friends of Kate Middleton. Number 12. Does the Prince of Wales have a record of cheating? Throughout his university days, and even earlier, there's not been any record of the prince cheating. As earlier stated, the heirs handled most of his activities discreetly, avoiding any unwanted attention. This is the first time he was accused of infidelity, and there was no evidence. Many believed the news reports and immediately compared this rumor to the affair between Charles and Camilla. At the time, King Charles only wanted one woman in his life. Camilla Parker Bowles, but there was no one in William's life before Catherine, so even barely scratching the surface of these two stories, they're very different. As the doting father that Prince William is, he would not want his children to relive what he experienced in his own childhood. Many individuals have suggested that William may have cheated on Catherine because of the stress and drama the royal family's been experiencing for some time. Others say it was out of boredom. Number 13. Why do the rumors linger? Every year, Year, the rumor seemed to return with more viciousness. In 2022, an Instagram user with the alias of Demois dropped a comment about a certain royal who loved pegging, but his old-fashioned wife did not approve. People immediately assumed it was Prince William and dubbed him the Prince of Pegging. It seems that every year someone new hints at the affair, which sets off a terrible chain reaction. For her part, the Princess of Wales ignores the gossip and comments, since there will always be talk about the British royals. Do you think Prince William broke his marital vows to his wife? Let us know in the comments section below. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our other ones. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.